Okay, in this lesson we're going to go ahead and download and install uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express. So um, I went ahead and Googled the page here, so I'll, I'll go ahead and go to that page. And we'll download um, SQL Server 2014 Express. Now one of the things you need to be careful of is downloading um, not just SQL Express, but along with the tools as well. If you don't, if you had just download SQL Server Express without the management tools, you'll have to download the management tools later separately, which is which is kind of a pain. So, so I'm going to go ahead and select Express and Tools, the 64-bit version of that, and select Next, and it's going to go ahead and kick off that download and it's about 800 megabytes so it's going to take uh, just a few minutes to download that so once that's downloaded uh, we'll go ahead and, and run through the rest of the install all right our download is completed and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, launch our downloaded file and right away uh, my Microsoft Windows complains uh, with its typical security warning so I'm going to say okay to let it go ahead and It'll unpack the files and then it'll kick off the installation uh, script. Once the ins installation starts, it'll go through and ask a, a number of different options uh, it, along the way. We'll probably take most of the default settings along the way, but there are a couple that I like to change that make it a little bit easier for a development environment. So the first window that comes up asks whether we're going to do an upgrade um, of an existing installation or we're going to do a new standalone installation. So I'm going to go ahead and select new standalone installation. And the next screen will ask to accept the terms and conditions and I'll go ahead and do that and move on to the next screen. So in the next cup in this step it's going to check for system compatibility and see if it finds any issues. Now, one of the the, the things you'll notice here then is the the features that you want to install. And um, I like to go ahead and take the uh, default of those, but if, if you haven't downloaded the correct version, you won't see the management tools. And um, it, it's, it's really kind of a pain uh, to download and install them later. So um, we'll see that they're here. So I'll go ahead and take the uh, default settings of that. Also, the uh, next screen will ask for an instance name. Uh, unless you're on a network or a corporate network or something like that, I would go ahead and take the defaults of these as well. Uh, I've noticed uh, in Visual Studio some of the, the uh, settings, it likes to look for this default name if you're developing with SQL Express. So I recommend uh, just leaving this alone unless you uh, have a specific reason not uh, to change that. The next uh, ask for uh, uh, the account names and settings, I go ahead and take the default in, in that case as well and select next. This is one setting I do like to change, um, the authentication mode. I usually select mixed mode authentication so that you can get in with Windows authentication uh, as an administrator and also with SQL authentication as an administrator account as well. So when you do this, it's going to ask for a, a, an additional password. And I, I, it's just a little easier uh, in case you happen to get locked out of the server from Windows authentication that you have a way to get in with SQL authentication as well. So I set both of those passwords and hopefully I typed them both correct. It looks like it didn't complain. So we'll move on to the next step and it'll run through the rest of the uh, base uh, installation here. So this will take a, a few minutes, uh, probably 10 or 15 minutes depending on the, the speed of your computer to run through. Um, and then once that is completed, really our installation is complete. Uh, in the next lesson, I'll take you through uh, how to, to uh, start up the management console, how to run through some basic operations using the management console, how to create a database, create some tables, uh, some fields in the tables, put some data in the tables, and also run through kind of a backup and restore operation, kind of the... Uh, uh, Hello World equivalent for databases that will show you basically how to get started with this tool. So uh, the backup and restore uh, operation is very critical. Uh, it's probably the, that's why I include it in the first lesson. It's one you need to know right away is how when you're particularly when you're working on software and you have the chance to really corrupt the database. It's it's critical to know how to uh, uh, 
uh, back the database up and restore it to a known configuration. So uh, uh, kind of a lesson learned the hard way. If you don't know how to do that, it'll cause you a, a lot of grief while you're developing code. So um, we'll go ahead and let this run and finish up. All right, well that really completes the uh, installation process and uh, um, I'll go ahead and close down the, the window here. And um, I'll also close out this window as well. So that really completes the installation. And if you want to know that your installation has been uh, successful, you should be able to go under the SQL Server um, window on the Program Start menu and launch the uh, SQL Server 2014 Management Studio. So it may take a few minutes the first time you, you set this up, but uh, if we use Windows Authentication and Connect, there we go. So we're now connected to the database and our installation is complete. So in the next section, I'll take you through the basic tour of the management console and, and how to create a database. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks so much.